Hi there everyone, time for our February video update and uh, we're starting with Amy. Uh, most of you know that I had uh, January off main church stuff to concentrate um, on the high street and developing our presence down here. For our Advent, we had uh, the Advent stool which was uh, really well attended and I think we came into contact with hundreds of people uh, in Shirley who we wouldn't usually have had any contact with um, as a church over Christmas. But one thing that um, I kept thinking about and kept coming back to is that we had nowhere to invite um, people that we met down there. So we were starting with great conversations, but there were people who wouldn't even make up Church Street, let alone through our doors at St James. And I was just struck again at the need that we have in Shirley to invite someone, invite people to a place that is safe um, and neutral, uh, and they can start to build community there before we even introduce them uh, to Jesus. So for this uh, last month, we've been, I've been working um, on some plans for our community hub uh, down on the high street, and I took these plans to PCC uh, last Monday. So our vision is that we have a community space, a community hub um, on Shirley High Street, a place uh, which people can come in and they can have really great coffee and really amazing cake, but they can get to know each other more importantly. So our prayer is that we create a community space where people can come um, and hang out with each other. As well as uh, the main uh, part of that might be a cafe, and then hopefully we'll also have a suite of rooms that you can come in and, and use. So the end dream is that we have a really amazing cafe on Shirley High Street, which acts as a community hub with lots of spaces that people can come um, and do their work from, or can come and meet friends and other people. Uh, to do this this last month, I've been working um, on our business plan on some financial projections. Uh, I spent a really good day with um, a guy called Paul uh, who has run one of these cafes, community hubs in Brick Lane uh, in London, who was really, really helpful. So our next step is to have a more detailed uh, business plan with more detailed financial projections. As well as that, we'd like to start to approach different uh, grant funders um, and see what money there might be out there for a project like this. When we discussed this vision for the community hub at the PCC, one of the comments that was made was that if Jesus were uh, walking the streets of Shirley today, he would be on the high street. And that's one of the reasons we're really keen to pursue this vision, to create a community hub where we can build relationship and share the good news of Jesus and see people's lives transformed by God. At Easter time, we're going to be launching an evangelistic initiative called Try Praying. It's a very simple initiative, we'll, we'll give you more details nearer the time, but as a warm-up we're having Lent as a season of prayer. Uh, traditionally, uh, having had Shrove Tuesday and the pancakes and Ash Wednesday, uh, now Lent is a period of prayer for Christians seeking to draw closer to God. But it's also a time this Lent when I want us to be praying for revival. Uh, we're offering everyone a copy of this booklet, you can pick one up at St James's or you can download uh, the online version. And it encourages us to be praying for revival in our local area. Revival is what happens when so many people turn to the Lord and their lives are transformed that the whole society is transformed. Uh, marriages are reconciled. Parent-child relationships are reconciled. Betting shops go out of business. Um, uh, employers recognise that their employees are putting in more realistic expense claims and neighbours get on better. All those sorts of things happen when revival comes. But I know, if I'm honest, that I'm often scared to pray for revival, for God to do big things like that, because I have, well, maybe not enough faith. I was really challenged this week when I read the following quote from C.H. Spurgeon, the 19th century preacher. He said, Believer, when you are praying, you are going to a king. Let your petitions be large. So yes, we go in humility when we pray, but we also go with boldness because we're going to the king of the universe who has all the power and authority and can do all things. And so let's be bold in our prayers this Lent as we pray for God's kingdom to come and God's will to be done in Shirley and Southampton as well as further afield. And these booklets uh, have a, a thought for each day, a verse for each day, and some suggestions of how to pray for each day. There's lots of stories in these booklets as well about how God has used revival at different pl places at times in the past, and how God has used this Try Praying Evangelistic Initiative uh, in different lives uh, in this country over recent years. Believer, when you are praying, remember that you are going to a king. Let your petitions be large. <laughs>